In the previous example, we actually uh, calculated the missing height of the triangle where the base was given to us. In this example, let's see what's given and what's missing. So, as we're reading the question, we place the numbers that are given directly on the diagram. So, side A is equal to 5 cm. So, here we go. Once we specify the length of the side, we immediately specify the opposite angle to that side. And always take the bigger, the biggest triangle. As you can see here, we see three triangles. B, D, C. B, D, A. And A, B, C. So, we're going to ignore the two triangles in the middle and we're going to take the one big triangle, A, B, C. So, if this is side A, then the opposite angle to it is A capital, which is this one. The 5 centimeter is given to us. So, the length of side BC, or we can call it CB, or we can call it side A is equal to 5 centimeter. Now, side C, so if this is angle C, then BA or AB is the opposite side to angle C. So, this is side C, which is equal to 6 cm. Once we specify the side, we specify immediately the opposite angle to it. So, this is C capital. At last, they gave us angle B, which is all of this, is actually equal to 11.8. Once we specify the angle, then it's already written over there. All this side, which is AC or side CA, or we call it side B because it is right opposite to angle B capital. Based on all this, look at the case that you have in hands. You have side C, B, and the adjacent side to it, which is B, A, are known. And the angle in between is known. And we would like to find here the base, which is C, A, or side B, as well as the height, in order to calculate the area of this triangle. Accordingly, since two sides are known and the angle in between is known as well, then I can calculate the third side. So, B squared is equal, what are the other two sides? A and C. A squared plus C squared minus in brackets 2 times side A times side C times the and times cosine the angle between side A and side C. And we write the rule as following. Now, so we are going to calculate side B. So what is side A? So it's going to be 5 squared plus what is side C? 6 squared minus in brackets 2 times 5 times 6 times what is the angle between the two known sides? It's 11.8. So cosine of 11.8. And we write it or we substitute as following. So we wrote the cosine rule. Why? Because two adjacent sides are known and the angle in between is known as well. So we can find the third side, which is the base. Now, do we insert this in the calculator? Not yet. Why? Because we are solving for B not b squared so 
square root each side, which is going to be b is equal to square root. All this goes under the square root. Now, this is ready to be inserted in the calculator. And if you do so, side b is going to be equal to 1.51 centimeter. And this is correct to three significant figures. One is the first figure. Five is the second. Zero is the third. So you stop at zero. Look at the right of the zero. Five is going to bring my zero up to one. So it's one five. 1.51 centimeter and centimeter because all sides are given to us in this example in centimeters. So we know the base now. Always place the number that you find on the diagram as well as you can see. So this is the diagram. We placed all the given numbers and once we found the base, we placed it right there. Now, in order for us to calculate the area, we must figure out the height. So, the three sides are known and one angle is known here. So, we need to find either angle C or angle A. It doesn't matter which one of them we are going to find because if we find one we can find the other one easily by adding the angle that we find to 11.8 and we subtract the total from 180 because angles in a triangle add up to 180 and how do we do how do we find one of the angles if the three sides are known and one angle is known, we use the sign rule. The sign rule, A, side A, over sign of angle A is equal to side B over sign of angle B is equal to side C over sign of angle C. Let's substitute now. A is 5. Angle A is unknown. Side B is 1.51 over sine of angle B. So sine of 11.8. Side C is 6 over sine of C, which is unknown. So if we substitute in the sine rule, this is what we're going to end up with. And like I mentioned before, you can find angle A or angle C. It doesn't really matter. If you want to find angle A, you take the first and the second fraction. If you want to find angle C, you take the second and the third fractions. So, we're going to find angle A. And this, the, we're going to take accordingly the first and the second fraction. Let's cross multiply. So A is my unknown. So sine of A is equal to and fraction line. Sine of A is multiplied by 1.51. So 1.51 is going to go down as the denominator. The other two numbers which are 5 and sine of 11.8 are going to go up as numerators multiplied by each other so sine of a is equal to 5 times sine of 11.8 over 1.51 now this is not ready to be inserted in the calculator yet because we are calculating for a we are finding angle a so sine inverse A is equal to sine inverse of all this fraction. Now this is ready to be inserted in the calculator. And if you do so, we're going to end up with angle A equal to 42.8 degrees. And this is correct to three significant figures. Four is the first figure. Two is the second. 7 is the third, stop at the third figure, look at the right, 6 is going to bring my 7 up to 8. 
So the answer is 42.8 degrees correct to three significant figures. So in the previous step, we found A and we place it directly on the diagram. So we found so far the base, which is CA or AC, and we found angle A. If we found angle A, we can add it to 11.8 and we can find angle C as well. But we want to calculate H. So if I know side C and side A and the angle in between, can I find side H? Let's have a look. So, we used here the sign rule. The sign rule states that side BD, the opposite angle to it is angle A capital. So, how do we say it? Sign of, how do we say, A capital or angle BAD. Or we can name it angle DAB. So, side BD over sine of the angle that is opposite to side BD, which is sine of angle BAD, is equal to. So, th so that's the first fraction in the sine rule. Now we go to side AB. So, side AB over sine the angle that is opposite to side AB is this angle here. And how do we name it? Sine of angle ADB or sine of angle BDA. So that is the second diffraction is equal to the third diffraction, which belongs to the third side. So side a D, A, D, the opposite angle to it is this angle here. So, side A, D over sine of angle A, B, D or sine of angle D, B, A. Now, let's substitute in this rule. Side B, D is equal to H. So we are going to replace BD with H over sine of the opposite angle to H is this angle. So sine of 42.8 is equal to AB. So AB is going to be replaced with 6. The angle that is opposite to it is this angle, which is the 90 degree angle, BDA, or angle ADB, is equal to 90. So, 6 over sine of 90 is equal to side AD or DA is unknown, so it's going to stay the same over sine of the angle that is opposite to the to side AD is ABD, which is unknown as well, so it's going to remain the same. And this is the substitution here. We're calculating H, so we're going to take the first and the second fraction, and we're going to ignore the third fraction as following. Write it here, you're going to cross multiply and the shortcut is H is equal to with fraction line. What goes down? Sine 90. Why? Because sine 90 is multiplied by H. So sine 90 is going to go down and what goes up? The other two numbers multiplied by each other as following. So, H is equal to 6 times sine of 42.8 over sine of 90. Now, this is ready to be inserted in the calculator. And if you do so, you're going to end up with H is equal to 4.07 centimeter. 
this is correct to three significant figures. Four is the first figure, zero is the second, seven is the third. Stop at seven, look at the right, three is less than five, so it's not gonna bring seven up. Now, always place the number that you found on the diagram. So we found the height, so the base is known, which is CA, and the height, which is BD, is known. So now we can calculate the area of this triangle. We start by writing the general formula of finding the area of any triangle. So the area of any triangle is equal to half times base times the perpendicular height on the base. So let's substitute. The base is equal to 1.51 and the perpendicular height is equal to 4.07. So let's substitute. The half is going to come down. The base is 1.51 times 4.07. And this is ready to be inserted in the calculator. If you do so, you're going to end up with the area of this triangle as 3.07 centimeter squared. And this is correct to three significant figures because three is the first figure, zero is the second, six is the third. Stop at six. Look at the right. Seven is going to bring the six up. So the final answer is 3.07 centimeter squared, and this is correct to three significant figures. Have a look at this question. Try to solve it on your own. And if you struggle with any of the steps, please watch this video once again. Always remember that practice makes it perfect. Thank you so much for watching sharing and subscribing to my YouTube channel.